Hello, my name is Billy Lensing, for those of you that don't know me, and I get to share my testimony today, and I'm so excited about doing it. I'm about to jump out of my skin. So, when I was asked to do this, um, there were a lot of things that came to my mind. So I began to pray about it, and I've come to a scripture that I want to share with you this morning. It comes from 1 John 1, 9, and it says, If we confess our sins, He was willing and able and ready to forgive us of our sins and all unrighteousness. Now, some of you need to hear that scripture today, and I'm not talking about just those of you that don't know him, but even the ones that do know him, because that's where my story is going to be today. I've been a Christian since I was six years old. I was raised in a devout Christian home. My dad was a deacon. My mother was a Sunday school teacher. I sang in the choir. So from a little bitty girl, these seeds were planted into my heart. When I went to church, in my home, my mother and dad's friends, we hung around with the pastor at his home. So I was always hearing these stories about Jesus and these truths about Jesus. So it didn't surprise me at a very young age that I felt the need to have him in my heart. And I remember that Sunday morning just going to church like usual, gonna listen to my pastor, but God began to at my heart that morning and I went down and told my pastor I want to be saved today I need Jesus so here I am new Christian my life didn't really change that much because we were already doing the things that Christians do in my home and so life just went on and I kept going to church and studying my Bible and learning scripture and trying to live for the Lord but then as I got older, this is where my story really begins to take a turn because when I left home, this young, sweet little girl turned into this rebellious young adult. And I thought I knew which way I was supposed to go and what I was supposed to do and I could handle it. I didn't turn to God and say, show me the way, Lord, what is your will? It was Billie Jean's will now. With that came some very terrible mistakes in my life. Terrible mistakes. And y'all, I was a Christian. You're the people I want to hear this today, really. Some of you are sitting in this congregation right now, and you're struggling with some sins that nobody knows about. You've never shared those sins with anybody. And for a long time, that's where I was, sitting in this very church dealing with some deep dark sins that nobody knew about and I just didn't think I could share that with anybody because they would just think I was horrible if I just kept it to myself but that's a lie from Satan he wanted me to keep them to myself because he didn't want me to grow in the Lord if I kept believing that nobody would understand it was really saying God really couldn't forgive me and that's a lie straight from Satan so one day I went to this um, Starlight Crusade and I didn't know this lady very well but she was one of the counselors and I had brought some family members here to hear about the word of the Lord. I thought they needed to hear from me. Little did I know that God was going to speak to me during the invitation and oh my goodness he began to move in my heart and he encouraged me to go down and speak to this counselor. She was the only lady standing there, the rest were men. And her name's Miss Pat Guerin. She began to counsel with me and ask me about things. And before I knew it, I was opening up my heart to her about those deep, dark secrets and sins that I just didn't think I could be forgiven for. And so she began to mentor me. Guess what? You know what? When I face that sin and I confess that sin and others, God began to clean me up again. You know what? I can relate to the prodigal son so well. Every time, I'm getting choked up now. Every time I hear that story, I relate to him because I had run from God. But when this sweet, precious lady who listened to the Lord took the time to love me, and when I confessed to her those sins, you know what she did? She looked right at me, and her face did not even change. Her eyes were filled with love. She didn't look at me like I was a piece of trash. She looked at me completely with love. 
and it changed my life. From that moment on, that was in the 30s, y'all. I just turned 67 last week. So that's been over 30 years ago that that happened to me. And I've been growing and growing and growing. And he's been molding and molding and molding. One of the greatest things that I got back was my joy. I did not realize I had lost my joy because I quit really letting the Lord lead me. So y'all, I got my joy back. You look up in the choir, you see me singing. When we're singing, uh, His blood washes us white as snow. I'm believing it. I believe the truth. Miss Pat told me to go to that scripture, 1 John 1, 9, every time Satan attacked me. And for months and months, I would look at that scripture when he would attack me and, and I just would read it if we confess our sins and I kept doing it. Do you know, I don't even remember when I didn't have to go to that scripture anymore because that scripture got into my heart. And as a Christian, I believed him. I believe he can forgive us for anything. Some of you need to hear that this morning. He, he can and will change your life. Even as Christians, He wants us to grow. He doesn't want us to be slapped down and stomped on by Satan because God is already victorious. I want you to know that when we sing about those chains being gone, I physically felt it. When it happened to me, when I really could let go of the sin in my life and hand it back to the Lord and really truly believe Him, that He loves me. He can use me. He wants me to know that. I'm His daughter, and I want you to know that this morning. My chains are gone. I'm set free, and you can be too. I love y'all.